Hey guys, Ken Hicks here. Uh, I just wanted to make a little video of a new rest that's coming to uh, to the U.S. market. It's a uh, handmade in Finland. It's called the NATO, and it's got some really neat features here. I wanted to show you. It's a joystick rest, and it has a handbrake here that has a trigger on it, and then when you squeeze it, it allows you to slide back and forth for your elevation, and then it locks in to where the only way it'll move will be for your windage. So the whole rest weighs 17 pounds, which is I found to be more than enough. Uh, you just don't need a heavy rest for an air rifle, and uh, I do a lot of traveling, so the baggage fees can be pretty expensive when you're carrying heavy equipment around like that. This rest also has a swivel top, which is a must for maintaining consistent gun harmonics. Uh, when you're doing your full sweep across your windage, you want to have the same pressure on each side of the forestock of the rifle. And it just makes a rifle shoot more consistent. Here I'll show you the, the handbrake trigger there. And like I said, once you release it, it's locked in and you can just go from bull to bull. I have found that the more I use this, the more the muscle memory kicks in and and you can really, really be precise and go from bull to bull and transition from siders during the windy conditions. Uh, you can see here it also will cover the whole target without making any gross elevation adjustments to your rest halfway through the card which is good uh, that way you don't have to stop and move a card and make an adjustment and you know get back into the rifle and and just allows you to concentrate on your shooting and paying attention to the wind and uh, here you can see it's really smooth and you can just be really precise and the more you use it the better you get at it and uh, just go from bull to bull to cider and, and here I'm going to take a shot and once you get the elevation locked in like I said the handbrake locks and then you can just with just a matter of a finger just push it back and forth for your windage uh, this particular day I had about three to five mile an hour winds and I'll hold off a little bit to the left just to match the wind condition and uh, and just hold off there and take a shot and let the wind do the work for you and right into the bullseye. Alright, well, I'm going to leave my email in the description below and if you guys have any questions about this, and uh, shoot me an email. And I'll be more than glad to answer you back. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good one. Bye.